I want to try and establish whether or not traditional martial arts have a lot of credibility in today's modern world. Traditional martial arts, traditional martial arts, what is traditional martial arts? It all depends on whether they have sustained and maintained their, their basics and maintained their, their originality and not just been sort of shoehorned into, you know, different uh, dynamic things to create a sellable product or a trainable product. But just take a look at it in general, just take a look at a lot of martial arts in general. And they just, they've lost their, their, their direction. And then at the end of the day, they're, you know, respect to every martial art who maintains its traditional values, regardless of, you know, people's argument that tradition doesn't work. How can they say tradition doesn't work? Everything they own, everything they have has come from that. You just cannot beat that kind of training. So it's, it's how much do you want to train? So in terms of tradition, you know, if you look at a traditionalist who is training for the same reason, for the fighting aspect, and he trains all the traditional values, he's going to be a very, very good fighter. But if you're looking at someone who just wants to maintain history, who just wants to keep a traditional sort of format, you know, the discipline and so on, as you see in a lot of classes now, without any science, without any tactics, then I can appreciate the fact that people are trying to pull away from that and trying to do their own thing. That's where they're coming from. That's where this is spreading from, where these, these traditional martial arts have lost their way, they've lost their direction, they've lost their instructor. In a lot of the cases, you know, he's died, he's moved on, or, you know, they've moved on from him. And what has happened? They come out with all this stuff that is very, um, very, very, diverse, shall we say. But they aren't going to gain anything. Because for their gains, they've lost so much. So, in your opinion, how long would a person have to train a, a good, credible martial art before they are any good? How long is a piece of string? It's down to the individual. And it's down to the information they're given. You take that information away from them and you give them your own values. And what do you end up with? You end up just a, a clone of yourself. So what you're trying to say is you're actually teaching people to... To learn for themselves. To learn for themselves, yeah. To, yeah, so that's why I said the most important thing about the Lao is the honesty. Is the techniques are there. The techniques are there, but they're in every other Kung Fu style. It's just that they're there, and they're precise, dependent, of course, on the instructor. Do you think it's a, it's a, it's a lot about detail? Yeah, you have to, you cannot... There are different chains of thoughts, or, or, or the way people teach, of course. Many, many people will just, won't teach any detail, they just teach them by rote and just expect that the people who really want it will survive and then therefore they'll start be giving the detail and so on. And there are other people who give a lot of detail initially so that the person will be able to train in effect to effect. And, and well, it, it depends on your chain of thought. But at the end of the day, that, that is what it's all about, is being able to give them that detail. You know, whether... But there are people that can train for years and years and then suddenly find out that there was never any detail in it and never was going to be given any detail because there was never any there, because it's been lost. I went to a place once, I was just carrying shopping on and I walked up the street and I saw these guys. I was just going to get a video actually, that's where I went, in Harborn, when I was younger. And I saw these people with bags going into this church hall and I thought, oh, I've been teaching for such a long time now. You just want to get in and train. And I thought, it's so close to my house. I went in to inquire. And there was a young man there and he, he was very nice and sort of invited me in and, and invited me to get ready to train. I took my shoes off and socks off and just had my tracksuit on. I was just ready to just train in with everybody. It was fantastic. And then the, the instructor walked in, an older man, and he said, um, he, you could see he was talking to his the, the, the guy that had, asked me if I wanted to train. And then 
the guy says, oh, you, you, he wants to talk to you or whatever. So he took me outside to talk to me. And he says, I'm sorry, you, you can't actually join, you, know, you can't actually train unless you've joined. And so I asked him how much it was cost. And then I was a bit upset because I wanted to train. And he, I said, so what are you doing then? What are you teaching? What are you training? He says, we teach uh, Shirinji Kempo. Shirinji Kempo just means Shaolin Tempo. It's Japanese, but he said, but we only teach what works. And as soon as he said that, I knew he diluted whatever he was going to teach. Whether he diluted it, whether his instructor had diluted it, whether the instructor before him had diluted it, it was diluted. So what you're saying is martial arts have a very diverse amount of techniques, and if you limit them, in any way, you're taken away from the art as a whole. So if you just say, you know... The, an art is, is, is what you practice, okay, yes. From the style then? You're taking it, yeah, you're taking uh, sections away from the style, if you like. There are certain things that are pointless in, in training in modern times, hence the reason a lot of people say, oh, well, I've changed the style and all that, like, no. The, the thing is, is that people won't train that hard, but you should still, the, the reason we keep them in the style is because someday, one day, there will be someone who's prepared to train that hard. So if you take it away, no one will ever get that chance to do that again. So it's gone. It's like saying, you know, it's, it's one of these species that is becoming extinct because it can't live in the, you know, in this modern environment.